I'm going to go ahead and call us to order now, guys. We're calling to order for an executive committee meeting at 10.02 p.m. Um, Madam Secretary, do you mind doing a roll call for us? One moment, please. I'm going to go up to the top here and use the right other one and just note what's different. Um, the chair is here, Mr. Rutherford. Here. I'm here, Mr. Redpath. Yes. Mr. Boss. Here. Mr. Nicola. He was Mr. here like 30 seconds ago. I don't know if he went to to tend to his daughter, but he was here. I don't know. I'll let me highlight that and I'll wait, hold on. I'll just I'll come back to him. I know Mr. Watkins is not here. Mr. Benson. I'm here. Ms. Anna Scavage. Here. Mr. Dar. Here. Mr. Dasson. Here. Mr. Ford. Here. Mr. Garcia. Pretty sure he left. Oh, okay. I'm just going to, I'm saying this out loud for the recording. I'm just highlighting people who aren't here that were here before. Um, Mr. Heyman. I am here. Mr. Hay, um, excuse me. I am so sorry. Ms. Hayes. I'm here. Mr. McGee. Here. Mr. Nana. I'm here. If it's, I'd like to explain. I've been on an LNC for many years with Daniel Hayes, and I'm sorry, Meredith. That's why I keep getting confused. It's okay. My dad's yeah. name is Daniel Hayes, too, so that's fine. Oh, yeah. No one would ever confuse you. You're a beautiful woman. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bracco. Well, Mr. Hayes has long hair, I think. So. He does. Is, is Mr. Bracco still here? Yes. I'm okay. Um, so, Mr. Chatterton. Yeah. Your first alternate for region one. So you would be sitting and well, we're not voting, but anyway. Um, Mr. Hirsch. Here. Mr. Johnson. Has Mr. Johnson departed? God, that sounded terrible. Is Mr. Jo Johnson present? He yeah. is not. Okay, thank you. Mr. Malagon? Present, and I do agree that Miss Hayes is a beautiful woman. I'm sorry for the years that you spent with Mr. Hayes at the on the LNC. Mr. Sean, I think is Mr. Sean departed. Um, I'm still here. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. Still here, Mr. Weir. Is Ben Weir here? Oh. Poet and didn't know it. Okay, so Mr. Weir is not present. Mr. Nikala? Well, for right now, Mr. Nikala is not present. So, Madam Chair, everyone is here from before, which means Mr. Watkins is not. Um, and those who have since left is Mr. Nikala, Mr. Garcia, Mr. Johnson, and Mr. Weir. I believe Mr. Brown is still here and Patrick Mitchell, are you still here? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, thank you. And I there was a beep. Madam, okay, so Ben Weir's back. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right. All right, everyone's here. So I am gonna move to go into an executive session um, to discuss legal action taken by one of our board members against an affiliate and to get some legal advice how to, on how to manage this particular situation and a potential conflict of interest. And there's there's no um, no action is agendized for tonight. And I object into going to, into executive session. There's no attorney present and everything has been public. Okay. Trying to is there a second to that objection? Second. Okay, we'll go to a vote on it. Um, would you like to? Yeah, I'm. I'm not going to do this with because it's just executive committee at this point. So I'm going to do it by memory. Um, uh, I'm. I'm. I, 
again, it's just memory. So I'm going by myself. Uh, excuse me, let me. I am voting no to go into executive session. Um, Mr. Ford. I'm voting yes to go into executive session. Um, Mr. Redpath. No. Mr. Rutherford. No. Um, we do not have Mr. Watkins. Um, crap, who am I missing? I know Ms. McArdle. I. Me. Oh, Ms. Yaniscavich. Yes. Ms. McArdle. Yes. All right, we're tied three to three, so we're not going to go into executive session. Did I, I think I read that yeah, right. You did, Madam Chair. All right. So uh, we're not going to be able to discuss the entire thing. Um, you know, essentially, you know, we've got, we've got a difficult situation going on right now. You've got, Madam Secretary, a serious conflict of interest because you sued a state affiliate. Um, and Madam Chair, I'll finish I'll... speaking. Thank okay, you. thank you. And we're worried you're going to get sued. And uh, we don't want to get dragged into it. You will and, not. You well, know, my contention is that you have not acted within the scope of your duties on some of this stuff. You acted outside of your bylaws mandated duties without my knowledge. And, you know, we're not interested in indemnifying you if you do get sued. We can't afford it. Uh, Ms. Yaniscavich and I have been aggressively going after you know, the the financials, we've been going over it all the time. I, we've been working very hard to make money. And we're very nervous about our financial situation and legal liability. And you sent behind my back without my knowledge, what you claim to be a whistleblower complaint to Oliver Hall. You don't have a contract with Oliver Hall. It doesn't exist. Um, you copied two other officers on it. It's a joke. Um, it's not a real thing. And so we've obviously got something going on here. And apparently you attached that lawsuit. So if you say that it doesn't have anything to do with the national party, uh, it, it's, it sounds to me like you think it does. And so we're concerned, you know? So I've asked, I've asked Ms. Hayes to try to help mediate this and try to try to bring it down a level so that it doesn't get any worse than it already is. Now, can I speak, Madam Chair? Certainly. Um, I attached the lawsuit to Oliver Hall so he was aware of it. The LNC is not named um, whatsoever. Um, I actually think the chair has a conflict of interest and I have a public records request into the Colorado Secretary of State where the Colorado Secretary of State has read an email to me mm -hmm. trying um, assisting to get Oliver Chase Oliver off of the ballot. So That's I think it's actually, I, we will see when we get the, the, the public records request. I'm not going to say anything more about it until that point. I will, I will say something that the email I sent was sent at the advice of counsel. So there was no shock or whistleblower, you know, Oliver Hall, our attorney knew exactly what had been sent. And that is fine. I am just telling you my opinion. Um, the LNC um, has nothing that was an FYI. I believe that you are targeting me and I, uh, uh, wait, I, I'm, I'm sure it is. And the, uh, the national party is not involved in a Colorado lawsuit. I am entitled as a Colorado member, despite your personally trying to pressure me not to sue Colorado prior to this happening. Um, I have every right to do so as a Colorado member did not even mention my national position in the Colorado lawsuit. And that's the way it remains. Ms. Hayes. All right, so unfortunately, um, while there is your right to sue as a Colorado member and your suit only names people in Colorado and within your rights as a Colorado member, it is creating something of a snowball effect that will likely, if things come to it, end up involving the LNC and your position within the LNC. What we would like to do 
is not let it get there. And I think it would be great if we could at least try to mediate. We can get a third party mediator neutral to come and sit down. Everybody is entitled to counsel at mediation and whatnot. But I think it's everybody's obligation or everybody has an obligation to come on everyone in here, to try to resolve things before it goes down the path of no return. So Ms. Harlow's Madam Secretary, if you are willing to engage in mediation, I think I would have with, a, with, this, with well, so there's options. Uh, the idea would be that all of us on the LNC, LP Colorado and you, if you're not willing to do it with Colorado, it can be with the LNC and you. Um, so well, I'm willing to engage in, the, in mediation with Colorado. The LNC has nothing to do with this. There are concerns about a, a connection. Um, that has with, not been raised in a lawsuit yet. When it has, I will consider it at that point. But I'm always willing to engage in mediation with the LPCO. Uh, Madam Chair, um, what do you have an opinion on that? Um, I mean, yeah, the intention was to also mediate the, you know, with members of the LNC because we have a, an obvious conflict. So that's fantastic. Like, let's let's pass that on to LPCO and try to get that set up. But we have a we have a conflict brewing over here as well. The potential cause of action arising from Colorado would not be against you as a member. It would be against you and your role as national secretary. Yep, and our um, see, and our O and E policy would be required to cover it. And if and when that happens, obviously. I am willing to engage in mediation with anybody in any lawsuit. I think actually you're legally required to. So um, at this point, uh, it's only LPCO. And if LPCO wishes to get in touch with me um, with a some kind of a mediation, be nice if they accepted service. They're about to be probably court ordered to do it, determined to have accepted service. Um, but if LPCO attorney or their chair if they're well actually a corporation can't represent themselves in Colorado so their attorney wishes to get in touch with me I'm absolutely willing to engage in mediation with LPCO in any event that the LNC is ever named um, certainly I think the LNC is obligated to engage in mediation all right so I guess we will pass it along to Colorado oh yeah certainly and perhaps postpone any um, mediation with us should that arise. Postpone what? Uh, excuse me, um, re return to the issue of mediation with the LNC if that issue ever arises. Oh yeah, and I I'm just telling you, if it ever arises, you already have my consent. All right, thank you. So I'm not clear on whether or not we're gonna try to enter into conflict resolution with our secretary right now. My apologies. Um, well, Madam Secretary, uh, the idea of there being a conflict of interest here in within the LNC, I think, is a reasonable concern. And outside of a legal obligation for mediation, I guess you would call this just a, attempts at conflict resolution with the LNC, and we could also have a third party. Uh I'm not in conflict with the LNC. I'm in conflict with the LPCO. I am actually enforcing the rights of the um, national delegates at the national convention. If in the event the LNC is ever named and officially in any kind of suit, I will fully and voluntarily engage in any kind of mediation. So this would be outside of the concept of legal mediation and it's simply an internal conflict resolution process. As I said, I am enforcing, uh, I am protecting the rights of delegates at convention, particularly Colorado delegates. If the LNC is ever involved in any kind of legal issue, I will voluntarily and absolutely fully cooperate. We got there a is, demand, we got a demand letter, Meredith. When? I'm sorry, when? Um, it's a couple weeks ago, I think. Oh, that is correct, actually. I yeah, and the this. LPCO I'm sorry, can, had... cannot represent themselves. I've seen the demand letter. It's out publicly. They cannot represent themselves. They're a nonprofit corporation. When there is a, a lawyer and there is some kind of suit, 
then I will fully and voluntarily engage in some kind of mediation. I find it really ironic that the fact that I want to keep our duly nominated candidate on the ballot is seen as a conflict by the LNC. I think it's a conflict with anyone on the LNC who doesn't think that we should be doing that. So again, my suit is against the LPCO. I would appreciate Ms. Hayes um, arranging any kind of mediation with the LPCO, fully willing to um, engage in mediation with the LPCO. If the LNC is ever officially named in any kind of lawsuit, I do absolutely expect a defense from our ENO carrier or a denial from them. And we'll also obviously under the terms of our ENO policy, um, fully cooperate in any kind of required, even not required, voluntary um, mediation, arbitration, dispute resolution. So what, what I wanna be clear about is we received a demand letter. We're trying to de-escalate it before it gets to a lawsuit. I'm not interested in indemnifying you right now. And you I don't, don't have, think you, you don't have to be, I'm an officer of the LNC and that's what our, and that would be up to our ENO carrier. I'm actually thinking your um, potential liability uh, is an issue here, but that again would up, be up to our ENO carrier, not up to me. But right now I appreciate Ms. Hayes um, engaging in any kind of dispute resolution between myself and the LPCO. Okay, so basically what I'm hearing is that you do not want to engage in any sort of conflict resolution with the LNC until there's a formal filing of a suit? Uh, correct, because I am completely within my duties. Um, with the and I find anybody who thinks that I'm not the person who has the conflict of interest. Um, the delegates at convention nominated our candidate, and our we should be fighting as an LNC to be getting our candidate on every single ballot. I consider an absolute breach of fiduciary duty of the LNC not to be doing so, but they're not. I'm taking care of business within my own state. Other people can mind their other their own state's business if they're not doing it, but this is as an LPCO member. And again, absolutely interested in mediation with LPCO. So I think the problem is, and this is why I think it should be a three, three-way mediation, um, is that the demand came from LPCO in relation to your actions as national secretary and filing the certificate of nomination with the secretary of state. Yeah, and I have every legal right to do that. So um, I'm, I, I, I'm already telling you that that's that's my position. I'm not withdrawing my certificate of nomination. So if if, if that is the alleged demand of the well, let me uh, 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 demand of the. Uh, this executive committee, A, I don't think it's within the executive committee's um, authority, but um, I'm not withdrawing my certificate of nomination. Right. I think the problem is, is that when that issue comes up, you were not acting as a member of LPCO when you sent in that certificate Correct. of nomination. No, the one action I did as LNC secretary is send in the certificate of nomination. So that as I it. understand it, the LPCO has not threatened legal action against you. They have threatened it against the LNC. Yeah, and let them sue the LNC, and then I will completely and absolutely engage in mediation. Well, uh, the hope is to never let have it get to that point. Well, I think it's pretty funny that the LNC would be worried about getting sued for having, I, I would think they would be eager to defend the rights of our delegates at convention to put the candidate on the ballot. Okay, I think so we're, we're, we're at a complete impasse right here, um, Ms. Hayes. Um, sure. It is my duty as LNC secretary to um, sign certificate of nominations under Colorado state law. Um, if uh, Colorado- no to mail them in. Uh, I'm sorry, disagree. Did it in 2020. Nope. Um, can you can you actually specify? Did Robert Krauss mail them in, or did you personally mail them in? I personally mailed it in. Okay, that's not what you told me earlier. 
I personally mailed it in to the best of my recollection. Can I swear on a Bible? No, it was COVID. It was crazy. Okay. I mailed it into multiple states at that time. What would happen is Nick Sarwark signed it, sent it to me. Um, I signed it. Now, this is one that did not require both signatures. And then there was um, envelopes for me to send it off. It is my recollection. I sent it to Colorado because I was closer. Cannot swear on a Bible. However, I'm not going to argue this point. I would think that it would be just really, really interesting that the LNC is opposing me putting um, the duly nominated candidate on the ballot in Colorado. And to be clear, no one, has, no one from the LNC has attempted to rescind the certificate oh, of I, I never claimed you did. Okay. There's no there's no intention on our part, at least not right now, pinned it with no with no lawsuit in my never, lap. There never, is no intention. Never to never claimed you did. Okay, so we will get you hooked up in mediation with LPCO. Um, yeah, but they need to accept service because right now there isn't even a, law, a live lawsuit. It's been posted on her front door. Um, and, and let me just say this publicly. Um, there has been about $600 worth of donor money spent, not mine, um, from people in Colorado to serve her. She has Dodge service. It's been posted on her front door. Um, there's another process server trying to serve her right now at an additional cost. Um, we can arrange an appointment for that process server. Um, I've emailed her, asked her to accept service by email. It's been FedExed out to the corporation's uh, office address today. That will be considered legal service probably. Um, I've spoken with the judicial committee, uh, judicial, excuse me, committee, judicial assistant today. But if she doesn't accept service, I'm going to be forced to ask the Phillips County Sheriff's Office to serve her. And as a libertarian, I don't want to do that. I'm coming close to now $1,000 from people donating money towards this in Colorado. She just needs to accept service. And I will absolutely, I'll sit down tomorrow at mediation with them. Well, I'll, I will, I'm not familiar with all of Colorado's rules regarding service. I'm sure they're very, relatively yeah. similar to California's. I will reach out to her and see if we can get that worked out as well. It was, um, I can send you the affidavits of service, by the way, Meredith. It was I, saw, I saw it online. I saw it on, on uh, uh, Twitter. Okay. Um, yeah. But you didn't see with the address and stuff because I was protecting her privacy. Oh, okay. um, uh, but it was posted at her front door. Um, the suit is 100 pages long. She was served both as CEO of LPCO and as registered agent. As you know, there's laws regarding registered agents. They have to be available. Um, so there were 200 pages worth of documents on her front patio. I spoke with the process server. They did deliver it. She lives in a very, very small town. It was not the wrong house. Maybe she needs to look under her doormat or whatever it might be. Is but substituted one, service something in Colorado? Yes. There, there's multiple means. And I spoke with the judicial assistant today where I might need to file a motion just to declare her serve. I don't want to go through all of that. She knows there's a lawsuit. Let's get to mediation. All right. I will reach out. Um, and then hopefully we can table the issue for uh, mediation with the LNC should it come to that. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right. Madam Chair, do you need anything else for me? Mr. Rutherford has his hand up. Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. Have we involved LNC Council in this matter yet? Yes. That's just a, we have, thank you. That's my question. Thank you. Okay, does anyone else have anything? If not, I think we're finished. There's one thing left. It's to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Thank you. Any objection? All right. Hearing none, we are adjourned at 1027 p.m. Eastern Time.